Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello, everyone. How are you? Fine. Hello. Everything you? good? Hello. Prepare to continue. To finish one more class. How is everything? Is it raining in your area? ¿Está lloviendo por ahí? Is it raining? Oh, yes. It is raining a lot. It's raining. Por acá sí está lloviendo. It's raining a lot. Ay, ya me la van a But mandar. Say, Sorry, Nevi. <laughs> Lo sentimos, Nevi. Es que Sorry, siempre Nevi. que dicen ustedes, Ajá. está lloviendo. ¡Pum! Cae la yes. gran tormenta aquí. <laughs> Yes, approximately in your house it's going to be raining. <laughs> okay, welcome to, uh, to one more session. Welcome Kevin, Nevi, we have Evelyn, Sandra Guadalupe, we have Judy, mm -hmm. Glenda, we have Melba, Rebecca Vanessa. Welcome everyone. Let's continue here with more abilities and talents. And we're going to watch a video about it. Then we're going to do an exercise. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents. Let's get started by listening to some common abilities and talents. Word power. Musical or artistic. Paint pictures. Play the violin. Sing English songs. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Other. Bake a cake. Play chess. Tell good jokes. Now I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, categorize these activities using the categories musical or artistic, athletic, other, technical or mechanical. Uh, just like you see on the example, other, bake a cake. Then I would like for you to use the vocabulary and relate it to yourself, a family member, or a friend. For example, I can fix a car, but I can't fix a motorcycle. After you finish this activity, Share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, on the video was a little bit difficult to observe like the words, but here in the picture, it's more possible to see them and to read. But it was talking about the different talents and the abilities. So let's verify here. And we are going to put in different categories. We have musical or artistic, technical or mechanic, athletic, other. And we have this list of talents okay. and also abilities. For example, in other, it will be bake a cake. It cannot be athletic, right? It's not musical or artistic or technical or mechanic. Huh? What about design a web page? <laughs> Design a technical. web page. Yes, technical, technical. right? That technical. is all right. Excellent. That is technical. Design a website. That's all right. Great one. What about do gymnastics, Rebecca? Athletic. Perdón. Athletic, right? Athletic. Athletic, right? Do gymnastics. As it has to do, right? We do exercise. So it's athletic. Do gymnastics. Do 
The next one, fix a car. Maybe. Technical fix a or car. mechanic. Uh -huh. Technical or mechanic. Fix a car. Rebecca. The next one will be fix a motorcycle. Technical or mechanical. It's also technical or mechanical, exactly. Fix a motorcycle. Very good. And the following is paint pictures. Blanca? Blanca se congeló. She got frozen. Blanca, you are here again. Yo creo que tengo, yo, yo, yo creo que, yo creo que tengo problemas conectar y no me conectaba. Ajá. Yes. There are y ahorita creo que me estaba preguntando y creo que a lo lejos y blanca. Se le escucha cortado. Uh -huh. Vamos a esperar a ver si se le restablece la conexión. We're going to wait for a moment. Judy. Paint pictures. Paint pictures um, musical or artistic. Very good. Musical or artistic. Nice. Paint pictures. Excellent. Let's continue with the next one. That is play chess. Kevin. Wait. What is chess? Chess is a game. Who knows what is chess? Ajedrez. Okay. Ajedrez. So it's a game. So, uh -huh. um, musical or artistic. Mm, are you sure? Oh. No. Athletic. Athletic? Mm, no. Athletic. No, oh, because there. you don't do exercise. Pero oh, se como un deporte, miss. Mm -hmm. But you don't need to do exercise. You don't need to do soy... Pero es un deporte mental. Soy profesor de educación ¿Es física, ¿Es entonces no, lo, sigo, lo, lo sigo viendo como que no es un deporte. Pero, ok. <laughs> Yeah, oh, the, the thing here is that they don't need like a Sigo to be in shape. No Sigo necesitan estar en forma. Deporte. Okay, <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Yo creo que hay Olimpiada de eso. Uh, yes, they go to contests, to competitions. And it's true, they have a lot of competitions. But as Nevi mentioned, it's mental. Mental. But they don't need to be like in shape. No necesitan estar como en forma, right? Like to do a lot of like physical exercise of that. So it can be in order. Oh, I see. Now, mm. yes, Lanka. Oh, yes. I see. <laughs> yeah. Entonces sería <laughs> en order. <laughs> no sería en athletics. <laughs> in order, miss. But remember that play is not necessary that you have to do like a physical activity. You don't do exercise. Vamos a diferir de eso entonces. <laughs> okay. Yo apoyo a Kevin también. <laughs> We're going to put it two, right? Okay, let's put it two because we have different opinions. Play Tiene yes. influencia Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> He has influence, yeah. <laughs> what about the next one? Play the violin. Blanca, what category could be? Mm, Play the violin. violin. The violin. Uh -huh. Play. Ajá, tocar. Tocar violín es. Ajá. So it's. Ah. Uh -huh. What is it? Ajá. Uh -huh. But what is the category? Is it athletic? Is it other technical or mechanic? Ah, uh, no. Or eh, musical art, or artistic. Musical or artistic. Or artistic. That is both right. Mm -hmm. Good one. So that will be play the violin. Great. The next one will be ride a horse. Rafael? Okay. Ride I, a horse. Um, it's athletic. It's athletic, yes. They need to be in shape, right? Yeah, they have to do exercise. So that will be athletic. Ride a horse. Excellent. The next one, Juan Alberto. Sing English songs. Uh, 
Period please, miss. I'm sorry? Repeat, please. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Sing English songs. What is the category? Is it musical or artistic, technical or mechanic, athletic or other? One. Maybe has problems with the connection. Juan, can you listen? Sing English songs. Sing English songs. What is the category? What is the category? Permit, ahorita. Sing English. Sing English song. Remember, sing means cantar. So that uh -huh. is one of the talents or the abilities. Sería la, la categoría número uno. The la first one, right? Musical. Ajá, that's uh -huh. correct. So that is musical. this type. Ajá, musical or artistic. Sing English. English Sing. songs. Yeah, because that is the talent. Sing English songs. Let's continue. Sandra Guadalupe. The next one is surf. Athletic. Athletic, yes. They need to be doing exercise, these people. Surf. Excellent. Evelyn, tell good jokes. I think other. Other, yeah. It can mean others. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it cannot be technical or mechanical, right? Musical or artistic. Athletic, no, not exercise. So tell good jokes. Really good, nice. Okay, now let's formulate sentences like this. We have the example. I can fix a car, but I can't fix a motorcycle. Glenda Guadalupe, are you present? Glenda? No. Elmer? Elmer Edenilson? Judy? Hello, Miss. Hello, Judy. Can you give us Hello. another example, please? Um, un ejemplo con los que hemos categorizado. Aha, uh -huh, correct. With this one. You can say like an affirmative and the negative. I can fix a heart, uh, but I ah, can't. Ah, okay, okay, uh -huh. okay. Um, I can mm -hmm. uh, veamos tiene que ser con las que están ahí mis perdón from this correct select like from disabilities okay. and talents ah ok ok I can um, bake a cake, okay, but I, can bake a cake. I can't um, fix a car. Fix a car. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Rebecca, select another one, please. <clears throat> I can bake a cake, but I can play the violin. I can't. I can't play the violin. That's all right. Good one. Kevin, continue. I can design a website, mm -hmm. but I can't surf. No. I can't surf. That's good. Yes. Blanca. Eh. Puede ser, I can, I can not, that's it. I can, sorry. I cannot play the violin. Play, the violin? Play, play the violin. The violin? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Complete. Can you repeat I this? I cannot play the violin. Ajá. Uh -huh. No sé qué más. <laughs> you can say one affirmative and one negative. So what is the uh, affirmative? I can, okay. I can, entonces sería, I can play the violin. Okay, yeah. I can play the, the violin, but violin, 
but I can not. I, I can not. Or I cannot play the violin. No, because it's affirmative and negative. Same activity. No. Puedo, pero no puedo. It has to be different, different talents. No es que no. Ajá, uh -huh. but you need to say like a different talent. Puedo hacer esto, pero no lo otro. O no puedo hacer esto, pero sí lo otro. Ay. Yes. Ajá, pues, o sea, que tengo que, tengo que, o sea que tengo que decir otro instrumento. Ah, for example, it can be. In the case that if I say, eh, I can do gymnastics, but I can't surf. Uh, ability, entonces sería, ability. Yeah, I can uh -huh. play the violin, but, but, I can but I can't do gymnastics. But I can't do gymnastics. No, gymnastics, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or I cannot do Gymnastics. I cannot do, uh -huh. I cannot do gymnastics. Uh -huh. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. That's all right, Gymnastic. good. So okay. that's affirmative and the negative form. And negative. Mm -hmm. That's all right, good one, okay. yes. Que quest? <laughs> one affirmative, one negative. <laughs> Debbie, what happens? Que mala, Nevi, que mala. <laughs> También, Aaron. <laughs> Estaban soplando ese trampa. <laughs> yeah, you, you were helping, you were helping, yeah. <laughs> good night, teacher. Hey, good evening, welcome. What about you, Evelyn? Tell us one ability and one inability. No es necesario que pueda, ¿verdad? O sí. Ajá, say one affirmative and the other one negative, or it can be in the contrary orders, in uh, contrary positions. Okay. Um, I can do gymnastics. I can do yeah. gymnastics. Uh huh. But I can't ride a horse. But I can't ride a horse. Yeah, that's good. Very good. Okay, so we remember here about some abilities and also inabilities. Now let's go ahead here with another another activity. Now, this one is about races. Do you remember that there are many races there that they make some animals like run, for example, horses, that horses run in a competition. So that's called a horse racing, like carrera de caballos, right? It's horse racing, but also exists the dog racing. <laughs> Did you know this existed? So they can make many animals that they can run and make a competition. Let's see who wins. Aquí en Santiago, en Santiago, no, en Santiago no, no, no hay una carrera de gallina. Really? They have that, that a hen? <gasps> really? Race? They do that? No, no that's Gallinas. too bad. They sí. run. <laughs> that must Gallinotas. be very big hens. Wow. Very Okay, so big animals then. We have a video. We're going to watch it. This one is called Race the U.S. So this was our races, but specifically in the U.S. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take eight or ten days to race across America, from Irvine, California, to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For eight to ten days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. 
race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. All right, so you could watch and also listen about different races. We have four different races that they are take place in the United States. Let's read four of them. It says race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet equals to 320 meters. 86 floors or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you imagine? Just 10 to 11 minutes. So these are people who really do a lot of exercise to do this. You have any vocabulary from this? Floors. Floors. Pisos. L -L -O -O -R -S. Uh -huh. Pisos. For example, the floors or like the buildings, eh, los edificios siempre tienen varios pisos, a veces dos pisos, tres pisos, okay. but they have two floors, three floors, four floors, or many floors. Estos son los niveles, right? The levels. Any other one? Any other vocabulary? Okay, go ahead on the next one. The next one is race. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the downriver race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles equals to 41.5 kilometers in just two hours. This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one boat. Take the challenge. New vocabulary. Race. Race. Carrera. Down right river. Down river. It's like when you go down river, it's not like the same level. No es el mismo nivel, sino que va hacia abajo. Y long, longest, longest, longest. This longest. is the longest. Más largo. El más largo. Mm -hmm. Más largo. Mm -hmm. El que dura más. Río, río exactly. abajo, ¿verdad? El río abajo, correct. So, es la carrera que dura más. It's the longest mm -hmm. down river race in the, the U.S. Only one person, one boat. Una, una persona, un bote. Aha, uh -huh, correct. That's why. Take the challenge. Toma el reto. Take the challenge. Let's see the next one. Only possible in Alaska. Esa, teacher, esa frase es bien utilizada, ¿verdad? Which one? Take, take the challenge. Take the challenge. Es bien utilizada esta frase. For many things, exactly. Uh, for example, if you are going to study another language, in the case of you, that you took the challenge. Tomaron el reto. You took the challenge. Because this is a new language. It's a challenge, right? Something that is not easy, but you are brave enough. You like to do it. You want to do it. The next part will be only possible in Alaska. The Iditarod sled dog race. Iditarod, that means distant, the distante, or a long distance. A larga distancia. Sled, that is trineo. It's like in this 
like a kind of transportation, right? That the man is going, but it's only, in this case, it's only for one person because the, the, the dogs are like making force. They are like pulling, right? So it says, race from downtown Anchorage to Nome over 1,150 miles equals to 1,850 kilometers through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash price. New vocabulary? True. Cool. Through. True. Through it means a través de. True cold. Uh -huh. Cold it means eh, lo helado. A través de lo helado. Eh, el viento. Y la nieve. So this is another challenge. A challenge for the dogs. <laughs> Reto para los pobres perritos, right? It's for the dogs because they are doing the effort. Ellos son los que hacen el esfuerzo acá. They... It's a sacrifice for the dogs. Pero es una raza, una raza en específico. It's a specific one, yes. That they are for the cold. They are resistant for the cold climate. Oh but they have this kind of dogs here in El Salvador, right? They have them. Oh, ya se adaptaron. Right, they got adapted to the weather. But they throw a lot of hair. Se les cae bastante el pelo, right? Because of that. It's too hot for them. Es que como que necesitan lo helado para, uh -huh. para mantener. They need to live in chalate. <laughs> Aquí les da giota los chuchos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That is the problem, that they are not for this weather. They are not for these countries. It's too hot here. Eso, esos perros se mueren aquí de calor, mis. Uh -huh. Yes, poor dogs. Ya están acostumbrados a esa temperatura, a ese clima. For the cold weather. They can only live like in Canada, United States, right? Or Russia. Alaska. Also, or Alaska, huh? Let's see in this one. Take eight or 10 days to race across America from Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900 mile equals to 4,667 kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep for eight to 10 days. Racers can sleep only about three hours each day. So only three hours to sleep on each day well, is not sufficient time to rest or relax. New vocabulary? Eight. Let me see. This one. Eight, no, eight. Where is it? Eight, eight. Is in this part? Eight. Day eight or eight. 10 days to race across America from Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900 mile. Race? Do you mean race? About three hours, eight days. Oh, about three hours each day. Each day each. is the same as every. Each day is like every day. Cada día. Mm -hmm. Cada día. So you can substitute. You can say every day. Each day. Cada each. día. Un sinónimo. They are synonyms. Just that each is not very common to use it. Each is not used as a frequency. No se utiliza como una frecuencia, como every day. Like, I take a shower every day. It's a frequency. Day. It's, it's a común. daily routine. Ajá, correct. But this each is like this. Indicamos una actividad que se realiza como cada día, pero no necesariamente es una rutina. Or like it's when you a, take... It's a substitute. I'm sorry? It's a substitute. You can no. substitute... You can substitute, but for example, when you take medicine, you take pills, cuando se toman pastillas, you say, okay, take uh, one ibuprofen each day, like cada día. Pero puede tener un, un tiempo o un periodo de tiempo corto, no como una rutina que va a ser permanente. 
So or this is every temporary. Day. Uh -huh. Or every day. Every day is like a daily routine. Uh -huh. So you can substitute. Uh -huh. Me, the yes, tell me. Sí, no me quedó claro. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure to know. Which one you said? El anterior. This one? El anterior, sí. I'm sure to know. I'm sure is. Anchorage. Anchorage. Race from downtown. Anchorage. These ones are places. Estos son lugares. Ah, It's okay. Anchorage. La ciudad. Ajá, correct. They are cities. From downtown. De, eh, del pueblo, dice. Yes, this one. Anchorage to Nome. But they are names. Son okay, nombres de, de los lugares. <laughs> Now, let's verify here. I have an exercise about this reading. Let's see. About the Empire State Building run up. We're going to see the places where they are taken. Where are the places? Do you remember about this one? The Empire State Building? Where is the race? What's the place? In... New York. In New York New City, York. right? And Kansas. This one, right? Cuatro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. This one. Like in New York. Climb the stairs New of New York City. So they climb the empire, right? The stairs too. What about in this one? In Kansas River. The rivers. That will be Arkansas, right? Ar What Ar about Ar the Kansas. place? The place of Edith Harrod, Sled Dog Race. What's the place? Alaska. Alaska, excellent. And the last one, Race Across America. What's the place? Georgia, California. That's um, Georgia, right? From Irving, California to Georgia, Savannah, California. Georgia. So they go to different places. What about the other one? Distances. Distances of the first one, the Empire State. These ones are the distance, right? 320, 320 meters. 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 That's yes. good. What about Dan River Race? 41. Oh. Punto cinco, ¿cómo se dice? Point. Point five. Point five. Point five. Point five. Point five. So it's approximately 42 kilometers. Kilo kilometers. Kilometers. Kilo. Kilometers. 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 41.5 kilometers. Right? What about the next one? The dog race. What's the distance? millas in English. <laughs> How do you say? <laughs> How do you say mil? Do you remember? Uh-huh. 1,150 miles. 150 miles. That's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> What about the other one? What the hell, Nelly? When I'm grande, I want to be like Kevin. He remembers the, the numbers, right? That's good. What about the race? Race across Congratulations, America. Kevin. That's really good, yes. <laughs> Es que más o menos me los podía, pero no me acordaba si era thousand o hundred. Yeah. Thousands. <laughs> They are thousands. Thousand. Race across America. What's the distance? Two, Two thousand. Two thousand. Nine hundred. 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 Nine Winning times in the Empire State. Ten to eleven minutes. Ten to eleven minutes. Excellent. Down river race. Down river race. The time. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Right. There we go. The. Editor's led the race. What's the time? Nine, Nine, 11, 11 days. 
12 yeah. days. Nine, <laughs> nine to 12 days. Good one. Mm -hmm. And the last one, race across America. Um, eight to ten. Eight to ten days. Excellent. Eight, eight, eight to, to ten, ten days. days. Yes, because the next one, uh, three hours. This one means it's only three hours that they take to sleep, right? They are not racing. Yes. They, they just take to dormir, rest. Sí, time uh -huh. time to out is como tiempo fuera. It is. Así. It is. That is correct. So no hay tiempo fuera, right? They just give mm -hmm. them three hours each day, but to sleep. And only that, the rest they have to continue riding the bicycle. All right, we're going to pass the list. Oh, yes, yeah. Let me know if you're present. Teacher, este Emily Jordan no ha podido conectarse porque no tiene internet. Con... Emily. Emily. Jordan. Thank you. It's for the rain, right? Hola. New look, Blanquita, Bárbara. She has a no, new look today. No, el mismo. I can Le mando really. la lluvia, Ney, porque ya se calmó aquí. Oh, okay. Ay, <laughs> Nevi, you don't want rain. <laughs> en qué cabal, cuando ustedes dicen, está lloviendo, uh -huh. diez minutos ya llega acá. Yes, by telepathy. Que hasta para, que no siente, para que no sienta envidia, Nevi. Ajá. We need, to, <risa> we need to share. Hay que compartir. We need to share. Para todos, yes. adiós. <risa> yes. Ok, let's start. Aaron. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Alba. Alba Marisol. Alba, are you present? Blanca. Yes, I saw Blanca. Present. With present. a new look. Yes, thank you, Blanca. No. <laughs> <laughs> Elmer. <laughs> Mismo. Present. Yeah, present. Yes, Elmer. Thank you, Elmer. Evelyn. Evelyn, you say present. me. Thank you, Evelyn. Fernando. Present. Thank you. Glenda Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Juan Alberto. I am here, Miss. Thank you, Juan. Kenya Vanessa. Sí, present, Miss. Thank you, Kenya. Kevin Adrian. Present, Miss. Thank you, Kevin. Maria Emilia. Maria Emilia. Melba Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Melba. Nevi. I'm here, Miss. You're there. Yes, thank you. Rafael Antonio. Rafael. I remember I saw Rafael. Present, Miss. Yes, thank you, Rafael. Rebecca Vanessa. Present, Miss. Thank you. Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you. Sandra Margarita. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Jacqueline. Jacqueline Marioris. Judy Edith. Present, Miss. Thank you very much. All right, let's go on. Okay, we had this one about races. Now, we finished with the model very fast. Now, we are going to have here a short review about the module two. So let's remember what we were studying in these five sections. The section one, remember it was about my sister works downtown. And we saw about the different means of transportation, right? The other one was, does it have a view? That's section two. And we were talking about the houses and apartments and all the furniture that it has. In section three, we saw about what do you do? Remember that one. We saw about occupations and professions. And the section four, we saw about food. Broccoli is good for you. Different types of food. And you discuss about uh, the food that you like, right? Different types. In section five, it was, I can't ice skate very well. Talk about sports. Abilities and talents, 
like play musical instrument, play a sport, if you can cook, right? All of those. Let's go ahead. Got an exercise here. To remember about simple present statements. To do that, we also have pronunciation of the third person singular. What do we add? The S, right? Is the S included to the verb? But what are the three subjects? Do you remember? What three subjects are for third person? She, he, he, she. He, he, he. Excellent. She, he, that's good. So we include the S to the verb, but only in simple present and for those three subjects, he, she, and it. So for the case of the verb, you got the verb take, takes, walk, walks, go, goes, study, studies, dance, dances, watch, watches. Irregular because you modify. Do, does, have, has. So let's check here. Let's do this exercise. We're going to complete this exercise with the correct form of the verb. Aaron, can you start, please? Number one. Aaron? Hello, Miss. Hello. Okay, we're going to complete this. My family. My my family and I live in, in the, the suburb. suburb. That's good. Continue. My wife. My wife and I work. 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 Work or works. Work. Work, base form, right? Because it's two persons, my wife work. and I. Excellent, base form, continue. My work. wife and, and I work near here. So we, so we walk. Work, voice base form, right? Because you have plural. So we. So work. we walk. Walk, nice. Walk to, to work. To work, very good. Thank you. Continue, Rafael. Rafael, are you there? Acá, acá. Yes, okay. Continue here, please. Our daughter. Our daughter, Emily. Uh -huh. uh, work. Work or works? Is that person? Singular. Uh, work. Works. 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 Because it's she, right? Is third person Works. singular? Uh -huh. Nice. Works. Downtown. Downtown. So she. Drives. Drives. Excellent. Third person. Drives. To work. To work. Very good. Thank you. Sandra Guadalupe, continue. Our son. Our son doesn't. Doesn't. Excellent. Third person negative. Perfect. Doesn't. Try. He writes. He writes. Very good. He bike to school. To school. Really good job. Nice. Judy, continue. Number two, my parents. My parents. Live in the nice. city. In the city, yes. My mother take a takes, train. To, takes. Take, good. Train to work. A train to work. Thank you. Very good. Melba, are you present? Yes. Yes. Very good. Continue, please. My father. My father is retired. 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 So he. Don third person doesn't doesn't excellent that's third person negative doesn't, doesn't work now very good thank you let's continue with Rebecca he also uses uses perfect public transportation public transportation so they don't need a car they don't need a car. Very good job, guys. Excellent. Nice. Okay. That's good. You remember about our simple present and the uses that we have. 
Let's continue. This will be about section two. It was about apartments. It was about houses. And we can use there is and there are for existency. It says, look at the picture of Linda's apartment. Say what she has and doesn't have. We have an example. There's a mirror in the bedroom. But there aren't any pictures in the bedroom. Kevin, give us another example. You are going to describe now the bedroom. Describe it. Use the reason there are. Kevin or Nelly? Kevin. Oh, okay. Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mi pobre angelito. There's a... Uh... <laughs> There's a television okay. in the living room. Okay, in the living room. But there aren't mm -hmm. any sofas. Any sofas. Very good job. Thank you. That's nice. Glenda Guadalupe, continue. Continue. You're going to describe the kitchen area. Hello? 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 Can you listen to us? Ese sería la cocina, ¿verdad? Exactly. Uh -huh. This area. The kitchen area. Uh, there is a micro... Whoa. Microwave? No. Microwave oven. We don't see a microwave. Oven, yes. La estufa, sí. Oven, yes. Refrigerator? No, we don't have refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So you can say negative, right? There isn't. Uh -huh. There isn't a refrigerator. No existence of refrigerator or microwave. Tell me one thing that you can see. There is... Existency. There okay. is a window, for example. I'm oh, sorry. There is a window. What else? There is a curtain. There is a curtain, correct. What else? There isn't a table. There isn't a table or there is no table. Very good. The two manners are correct. There Very is good. a pantry. Sorry? There are, there are cha chairs. There are chairs. That's good. How many chairs are there? Three. Three. <coughs> Three chairs. Very good. Nice. Blanca, describe it, please. Now tell us. Describe the bedroom, this area. There is um, or there are? There is. Mm -hmm. oh, there. there is. There is. There is. There is a How do you say cama in English? Cama in English. How do you say that? Bed. 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 Uh -huh. Bed. Yes. El que no, no me recuerdo es del espejo. Pero que mirror. 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 Like this. Here we have es, a es, mirror. Eso. Yo, exactly, 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 exactly. Mirror. <laughs> this one. Yes. There is... There is a mirror. What else? Y la cama. Bed. There is a bed. bed. There is a bed. Uh -huh. y there is a yeah. mirror. Okay. There is a mirror. There is a bed. A door. A door. A door. All right. Uh -huh. There is a door. That's good one. Y la almohada, ¿cuál sería? Hilo. There is a, a hilo. But in this case, it will be plural, right? How many pillows? Quantity of pillows. pillows. How many? Two pillows. Two, two pillows, right? Two there pillows. are two pillows. pillows. That's right, good one. Okay, we have description. There is and there are. Let's remember uh, the section three. What do you do? <clears throat> in the case of jobs and occupations. Let's ask some questions. Let's see. Kevin. Kevin, what do you do? 
What do you do? Um, I profession or occupation. I uh training. I am. I am a training. Mm -hmm. A trainer. Trainer. trainer, like capacitador, uh, right? Or entrenador. Yes, I am a trainer. That's good. Okay. Let's see. Nevi, what do you do? I am a teacher. A teacher. Ah, okay. We have the same profession. <laughs> good. Let's see. Let's continue with Elmer. Are you present, Elmer? Elmer? No. Juan Alberto? I'm present, Miss. Hello, tell me, what do you do? What's your occupation or profession? I am office, I am office police investigator. Investigator, very good job, nice. Okay, now let's check about in the specific areas, right, that the professionals can work in a hospital. Doctor, nurse, any other professional or occupation? A receptionist? Paramedic. Right. Dentist. Uh -huh. The paramedic, dentist, uh -huh. in a hospital. You need the janitor. El encargado de la limpieza. The janitor, you need them. <coughs> what about in an office? How do, you, how do you say anesthesista? Anesthetist. Anesthetist. Yeah, they need all of those professionals, right? The dentist, anesthetist. All of those are necessary. What mm. about in an office? You always need a receptionist, right? Uh huh. Um, the secretary. Who else? A manager. A lawyer. A lawyer. Yes. Who else? A mechanic. A mechanic. Yeah, it's possible that you need a mechanic, yes. A technical, yes. Some people who work with technical, so they can be technician. What about in a store? What a profession? A salesperson. A cashier. A cashier. Yeah. A, cashier. Yeah. A, a manager. Right? A manager, right? The janitor. ¿Cómo se pronuncia vendedor en inglés, perdón? Vendedor. You can say salesperson. Salesperson. Puede ser ahí en, en store salesperson. A salesperson. Yeah, it's very necessary. Correct. What about in a hotel? A chef. A chef. That's good. Any other one? A receptionist. Aha, uh -huh. when it reception is they are very necessary. What else? How do you say camarero? That will be a waiter that you can use or maybe waiter. Mm -hmm. Waiter. You can use that one, the waiter. What else do you need? <coughs> what about the manager? It's necessary, right? Yes. So all of these ones are necessary. Let's go ahead on section four. Do you remember about food? The delicious food. We got some questions. That's about the meal habits. Let's start. Let's see with Sandra Margarita. <clears throat> Sandra Margarita, are you here? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's see about the frequency words. Remember those ones about uh, the adverbs of frequency, like never, usually, always. And we have this question. Do you usually eat fruit salad for breakfast? Sometimes. Yes, I sometimes. Yes, I sometimes eat fruit salad for breakfast. Excellent job. Very good. Nice one. Okay, now let's see Glenda. Glenda Guadalupe. Glenda, are you here? Kevin? And Kevin, the next one, number two. What time do you usually eat lunch? Lunch. Mm -hmm. um, spaghetti. But what time? What time? 
Not what do you eat, but what ah, time? Okay. The, the hour. What time? And 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock. Okay. At 12 Try to get complete. I usually. I usually. I eat, usually eat, eat? lunch uh -huh. at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock. Very nice. Good one. Thank you. Aaron. Are you Hello. there, Aaron? Yes. Hello. Number three. Do you ever eat meat for dinner? Do you ever eat meat for dinner? Remember here you can answer like, yes, I always, or no, I never, yes, I usually, yes, I sometimes. Yes, I, I ever, I. Always, sometimes, yes. usually. Usually. Mm -hmm. Yes, I usually. Usually what? Eat? Eat meat. Eat meat for? Dinner. Dinner. For dinner. That's correct. Good one. Blanca, mm -hmm. number four. What do you usually drink for lunch? Usually drink. I, I usually. I use. Como? I, I usually, 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 uh -huh. drink, 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 El lunch, me pregunto, uh -huh. but drink, remember, uh, drink liquids, right, for drink lunch, for, drink for lunch, the uh, chicken, no, drink, no, no eat, no eat, drink, drink. liquids, de beber, what? what do you usually drink, soda, uh -huh. Juice, water, oh, cola, cola. Uh -huh. juice, juice, jugo. Juice, okay. Juice, yes. Juice. Repeat it. Sería, I usually, I usually drink, drink juice, juice, drink juice, for, drink juice for, for lunch, for lunch. For lunch. That okay. is correct. Nice one. Okay, let's see. Kenya Vanessa. Kenya, are you there, Kenya, Vanessa? Yes, me. Yes, okay. Let's see the mm. last one. What is something you never eat for dinner? What is something you never eat for dinner? Uh, is? Never. Something you never eat. eat. Ah, que no me gusta. Algo que nunca come. Para, mm. eh, para la cena. Something you never eat for dinner. Never. I never. Eat, I, I never. never eat. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, lasaña. Ok. Lasaña for. For dinner. For dinner. That is correct. Ok. We got the review there for this module. And I want to congratulate you guys. Congratulations you. very much. Yo for your dedication. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to whistle. <laughs> Teacher, ¿cuántos <laughs> módulos, ¿cuántos <laughs> módulos son? <laughs> they are 15. Son 15. Yo creo que al décimo lo hubiera entendido. <laughs> Come on, Blanca. No, yo creo que hemos mejorado. I think you have improved. Yo creo que han mejorado. Han mejorado bastante. Le digo. Un poco más le, de la fluidez. Le digo. Ya no le da, ya no le da nervios participar. Ajá, ajá, you don't feel nervous. Ya se anima. Yes. Le digo a mi hija, desde que empecé ya sé que es Danta. Ok. <risa> But it's a problem, right? We go step by step. Vamos paso a paso. Y lo bueno es que es a diario se tiene más fresco el conocimiento. So that is good. Congratulations, guys. Thank you for your dedication. Your Thank you, Miss. Very Ms. good team. Gracias. Thank you very much. Gracias a usted la paciencia. So, Thank you for you. My pleasure. 
my, that is my pleasure to do it. Sin usted, no, sin usted no fuéramos nada, mis. Come on, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> it's <laughs> your <laughs> effort. <laughs> El esfuerzo de ustedes. Porque... Gracias, gracias. Well, well, uh, it, maybe you know as a teacher. <clears throat> A veces el maestro, de, 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 de nada sirve dar la clase si el alumno no se dedica. So that is no, pero su paciencia es grande, Miss. Es así. Oh, es thank chambre. you. It's sí. my pleasure to do that. Con mucho gusto. Thank Mira, you, guys. El, el tercer módulo va a decir, ay, ahí está Blanqui otra vez. No, come on. No. no. It's good to see you, everyone. Espero verlos. Meramente to see you. Yes. And we'll continue on Monday. Vamos a esperar la confirmación. Se supone que yeah. sí esperamos el lunes, que va a ser continuo. ¿verdad? Okay. Pero esperamos el mensaje. Ok. Yes. Okay. No les han dicho okay. nada de los certificados aún. Uh -uh. Y ese mis que habían mandado un enlace. Había un enlace y en el enlace aparecía el, en, el certificado en Drive. Pero ya no. Sí, disappear. porque estaba en Dry, o sea, y, y bueno, me pareció extraño Ajá. porque ahí en Dry está la, la, la asistencia, Ajá. las Ajá. notas, Everything. Este... yo creo que se arrepintió el que lo mandó. ¿Y dónde está con Nevi, perdón? ¿Mande? ¿Dónde? A, o sea, ¿por qué medio se lo mandaron? ¿Por correo, por WhatsApp? No, en la plataforma, en la plataforma. está en la enlace para ver este... Parece que dice descripción del curso, si no me, no me equivoco. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y es que a veces ahí lo suben. Ajá, estaba mis, pero ya no está. Y ya no es, no quitas No, lo está, la, está la asistencia, están las notas, está este, todo la, el recorrido de la plataforma, the grades. todo eso está. Uh -huh. Pero no está. But eso. no the certificates. Uh -huh. Disappeared. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. <risa> ¿Cómo? Gracias por broma, participar. Broma. No, hay que ser positivos, no estamos. No, you, you need to preparados. be. Estamos cuando lleguemos a los 15. It's an effort. It's a challenge. Es un reto y es un sí. esfuerzo, right? Claro. Hay que sabemos que todo sirve en esta vida. Sí, así It's es. everything. Lo importante es que estamos teniendo el conocimiento. Exactly. Sí. And it works a lot in different areas. En diferentes áreas nos sirve bastante. Yes. English sí. is very important. It opens doors. Abre mm, más puertas. Yes. Sí. No, there are more opportunities. ¿Sabe quién hizo falta? Es Emily. Yes. Sí, no se Emily pudo conectar. Yes. Maybe on Monday she can get mm -hmm. connect. Sí. sí. Y vienen a ser remotos, Miss. <laughs> The earthquakes. Ahí vienen las perdidas. Hay que cantarles qué ondas perdidas. Digamos. El lunes, el Monday, Monday. Uh -huh, Monday. On Monday, right? We're going to tell them. All right, guys. I hope you have a happy weekend. Que volvemos hasta el lunes. I'm sorry. Sorry. Hasta el lunes volvemos. On Monday, yes. pero vamos a esperar la confirmación. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Yes, so Monday we continue. Si no nos confirman, ya está. Siga participando, le van a decir. Continue, continue. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Over, Let's celebrate. Thank you, man. Have a happy weekend. Sí. Happy weekend. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Miss. Good, good night. Thank you. Good, good night. Good night. Thank you very nice. much. Good night, Have everyone. a good night, everybody. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, you too. Sweet Thank dreams. you.